uh, tonight we're going to be breaking into one, probably the last box of the 1984 to 86 Star Company triple set break from sportscards.com. Uh, it's the last box that I ordered from them. Uh, going forward, I think a lot of the boxes we're going to break into are going to be the 70 to 71 tops. We just have a thing for the, uh, the tall boy cards. I just think they're, they're really cool looking. Um, just a really better, like just a better design. Don't get me wrong, I think these cards are great too. And, you know, I figured uh, if this is going to be the last one, hopefully we get the big, you know, the big fish. Uh, Larry Bird 84. Uh, Michael Jordan, um, not his official rookie card, but a rookie card, or Magic Johnson, that'd be pretty sweet. But nevertheless, I'll be happy with anything. Uh, so before we get started, if you're new to the channel, you enjoy vintage baseball or basketball, uh, do various giveaways and uh, set buildings as well, uh, hit the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell to be kept in the know of future videos. I uh, got some giveaway. I have the uh, giveaway happening right now. You can check it out at the end of this video, so you can be uh, part of it. If you're interested in participating, just a couple of rules. Uh, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Um, this week, uh, the comment is talking about your favorite athlete from each of the, each sport of the major four sports in the United States, as well as leaving as long as uh, as long as you have a U.S. or Canadian shipping address, you can qualify. So. Definitely check that out at the end of this video. Uh, but without further ado, go ahead and break into these. Now this box comes with seven cards, one Hall of Famer per box. I found that we've gotten two sometimes, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, there's 99 boxes. I think this is box four, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to put this on my lap so that I can kind of be surprised when I take the cards out. They wrap it up pretty well in here, so you can't really see what it is. All right, finally got it. And of course, the first thing that's going to come up will be the bonus card. It's offers uh, from sportscards.com to offer potential discounts or something free, <clears throat> something something that they have in their warehouse. Uh, so without further ado, we'll jump to the first card. This is card number one, and we have here Pat Cummings from the New York Knicks. Uh, Pat, this is the star 85. I've never heard of this player, so this is new. He's new to me. Um, just a little closer here. Uh, so Pat Cummings, um, he I guess this season he is new to the Knicks, um, but has played in practically almost every game. So it looks like he might have been a starter uh, or uh, maybe off the bench guy. Uh, but let me move this closer here. So he was drafted by Milwaukee in the third round as a junior eligible from 1978. Uh, let's see, 59th pick overall. Um, so with Milwaukee, he started averaging six points, eight points, to six points again. And then when he went to the Mavericks, he had a, a change in play. So maybe he was getting more minutes because it does look like when he went to Dallas, he was playing 81 games, 80 games, and he averaged 12 and 13 points. So my guess is that he was definitely playing every day or every game. And he was a center, but he looks like he went to the Knicks here. So maybe the Mavericks traded him. Um, I'm trying to think who. Uh, I wonder if uh, hmm, Rolando Ball, uh, Rolando Blackman, I think, when was playing for the Knicks and then went to the Mavericks. So I wonder if that was part of the trade. I can't remember what the situation was. Uh, if that was uh, what this was all about. And how Patrick Cummings came to the Knicks, um, which is interesting because the Knicks ended up getting Patrick Ewing in '86 on the, in the draft. So I don't know how that all played out. I'm going to look that up because I'm definitely curious about that. So that's the first card is Pat Pat Cummings. Uh, the second card up for is Rod Foster 
and he's getting denied, or almost, it looks like he's getting denied by Michael Cooper, who is a ferocious defensive player. Uh, really nice card. This is from Star 84, and it looks like this is his rookie card. He was drafted the second round and had a good career. At, at, uh, looks like he played for UCLA. Had a decent career there. 11 points, 12, uh, 10, and 14. He holds the NCAA Division I record for three throw percentage in the season, 1982. I'm sure that has been long surpassed. But he, yep, not a bad player. I'm not sure. I, you know, I never, never heard of him, Rod Foster, uh, from the Suns. Well, I don't have to look up his career after and see how he, how his career turned out. So that's card number two. And card number three is. Mitchell Anderson of the Utah Jazz, another player who I don't recognize, and you can see the print on this 86 was similar to another card I had from weeks back. Uh, it's kind of like smudgy. That's what Mitchell Anderson's about. Um, not a great player. It doesn't look like it. He was drafted second round for the Philadelphia 76ers, 36 pick overall, and his numbers suggest he was not an everyday player. Probably off the bench guy, seven points in his rookie year, two points, and then three points. So pretty, pretty low stats. Uh, not a significant contributor. Um, probably came off the bench. He was a forward, so he was six foot eight. Probably came off the bench uh, for Carmelo, maybe, or he was a third string. Hard to tell. Um, but nevertheless, it's a nice card. You can see John Stockton in the back there, so that's something. <laughs> Uh, here comes the next card, and we have, oh, wow, another Laker, and one of the most, probably the most famous Laker, uh, next to Magic Johnson maybe, but Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, star 1984, so we got the James Worthy rookie card, and now we have a Kareem card from that same set, from the 84, and obviously he, his resume speaks for itself, uh, UCLA obviously took them to championships, um, uh, Milwaukee, and then the Lakers, uh, quite a career. I mean, the leading scorer in the NBA of all time, uh, most points, and I don't think I don't think that will get surpassed. Uh, this famous uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's famous shot is called the sky hook. It was indefensible, um, very difficult player to defend. And his numbers show, I mean, 28, 31, 34, 30, 27, 30. And then during the Lakers, he kind of took like a little bit of a back step, but still was an offensive threat. I mean, you had James Worthy. Um, you know, you had like Byron Scott and Magic Johnson obviously scored about 18, 20, you know, 19 points a game. But Kareem, they you know, they still made him the, the pivotal figure for uh, for scoring points in, in the uh, going into the 80s. But this is a sweet card. Uh, definitely put this one aside. And definitely, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if uh, if it's the case. It looked like it was a little bit bent. I'm gonna see, or like there's some cre some surface issues. Might just be, yeah. There's some mine. It looks like there's there is some surface issues. I can't really show it. It's gonna. Uh, maybe, yeah, there it is. If y'all can see, it kind of looks like something's going on there, but it's okay. You know, this is gonna go on the PC. You know, I'm not going to sell this car. This is pretty sweet. So, very, very cool. Put this back into the, to the, uh, to the card saver here. All right, so we got, how many cards do we have left? Three more cards left. Let's see who we get next. We got Darren, uh, Darren Tillis from the Golden State Warriors. Darren Tillis. Looks like this might be his rookie. Uh, 23rd pick on the first round. He's drafted by Boston, but he was traded to Cleveland. Makes me wonder what he was traded to Cleveland for. I'm not sure. But he didn't really do much. Um, three points, probably off the bench guy. Uh, six foot eleven, so 80, 84. Maybe he would have been coming off the bench for the Boston initially for, I don't know, maybe Parrish. Um, or maybe he came off he was, I think he was definitely probably third string if he was a power forward because you had Cedric Maxwell and you had Kevin McHale. And McHale was coming off the bench as the sixth man. So it probably would have been for either a second string or a third string for the Celtics center because I think at that point Greg Kite was the center for the Celtics. 
coming off the bench for Parrish. I can't remember. But got two more to go. We got Darwin Cook of the New Jersey Nets from the Star 85. And Darwin Cook, uh, you know, a decent career, not superstar status. Drafted in the fourth round by Detroit in 1980, 70th pick overall, and, you know, put up some decent numbers with uh, New Jersey. Uh, 11 points, 11 points, 13, and then kind of dropped a little bit in 84 with 8.7. But, uh, you know, decent player. It looked like he probably was, probably was a starter, but not, you know, a superstar. But nice card, nevertheless, Darwin Cook. And the last card is... Mickey Johnson, and this is kind of cool because Larry Bird is in this one. So I don't know if that brings up the value anyway, but Mickey Johnson was a forward and had a very nice, very nice career. Um, he was drafted fourth round in 1974, so his career was probably coming to a close or near towards an end. Uh, 56 pick, and obviously his rookie year he didn't play much, 3.8, but he shot up to 15.3 points a game with Chicago. And definitely kept it in double digits throughout the for duration of the career after that. So I imagine he was an all-star probably at some point. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, but y'all can let me know if he if that is the case. I'll probably look it up after because I'm always curious about certain players. But this is kind of cool because he's guarded by Larry Bird, and so that kind of makes it more, yeah, even better for me. Uh, so a little recap here. Not bad with the uh, Kareem card. That was a Nice surprise. So we got yeah, Mickey Johnson, Darwin Cook, Darren Till, Tillis, and of course the awesome Kareem card. That makes it all worth it. We got Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Anderson, Rod Foster, and Pat Cummings. So some decent cards in there. Uh, Mickey Johnson and Kareem probably steal the show, but Kareem is the showstopper. Part of that Showtime Lakers in the 80s. And of course, um, during his uh, days with Milwaukee, uh, it was a, I mean, unstoppable force. So, um, thank you all so much for watching. If you all enjoyed the video again, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be kept up, uh, up to date on future videos. Um, definitely uh, have some more 1970 sports cards boxes from the NBA coming in soon. And we'll definitely uh, keep you filled in on some of the card shop adventures that, are, that will be likely coming up. So, uh, have a great night, y'all. Take care.